here we go into what's called actually the glory hole. Very interesting process. Glory right now is creating a boss. So just using heat and gravity allows me to lengthen. Okay. To the furnace again. This is called the glory hole. And right now you're just heating it up so you can manipulate it a little bit more. Right. That, the, the lip of the glass is the coldest part. So now I'm heating it up so then I can open up the, the, the lip to be a base. So it's crucial to keep the little bit of glass that's connecting the base to the hot enough so that it stays on, but not so hot that I can't get it off. Right. So it's this delicate balance of, so it takes a while to get the lid hot. And that furnace is pretty hot. We said it's how hot? It's probably 2,000 degrees. 2,000 degrees. Yep, hot enough to melt glass. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them. This end product is going to be a vase, which when she pulls it out of the furnace here, you'll be able to see exactly how the vase looks. Right now you can get some feel of the definition. So right now, Lori's using a tool to keep the item flat at the bottom, is that right, or is that the top? This is the lip. Okay, so this is the lip. She's going to do some very interesting things here into the furnace again, 2,000 degrees. And why does it need to be 2,000 degrees, Lori? Well, I have to heat the glass up to the melting point so I can, I can manipulate it and I can move it. I'm heating it up and then I'm going to use a steam stick. It's a wooden tool that traps steam actually inside the base and puffs it up. Okay. So I'm going to change the shape a little bit. So now we're changing the shape of the glass. And then it's going to quickly, so you stand over here, you mm -hmm. can see the way that I'm going to heat it up. Flare open the lip and then let gravity, as I hang it down, create the folds of the base. If there's any questions by anyone, please feel free to ask. So if you watch, I'm using centrifugal force to open it up. <laughs> Someone said it's very active, almost like a sport. Okay, then I hold it down and create Wow, that is beautiful, Lori. So, ah, we got some hearts for you. Lovely. So to spin it like that allows for 
Well, that's what that's what makes the glass open up. Now you'll watch the color change. It's red when it's hot, but as it cools off, you'll see that it's really green. Ah, green. So I'm waiting for it to cool off to about 900 degrees. Then it has to go into the annealing oven, which is at 940 degrees. Come and it's got to go in there quick, you right? Can watch as I tap this Okay, off. here we go. We're going to take this off. Amazing. And now it's going to go into this 900 degree, I guess, cooler type. Yes. Well, it's a hot cooler. You want to come closer and you can get a look in there? Here, stand here and you can look in. Ready? Okay. So this is the finished product, as you can see it, inside. And that has to stay in there how long, Lori? Um, when I've finished working for the day, then I turn it down and it takes eight hours to cool. Okay. The stress has to be relieved from mm -hmm. the inside to the outside, so it cools equally. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the types of products you do. We saw you do well, the box. Well, this is a bug base, mm -hmm. which is you know, a fairly simple piece. I do more complicated bowls and bases, goblets, okay. perfume bottles, if you want to come in and right. show Right, let's take a quick people. look in there to see the items that you've put together here. So, these are kind of my drinking wine goblets. Beautiful. They really good. Yeah. They work well. And so this is, this is similar shape to the bud vase I just made. And right. You can see the fluted top where it's nice that flowers can just fold in. Right, and you're packing and shipping some things Absolutely. for some people. I'm always sending things out to galleries. Right, and you can um, take a look at her gallery page with all of her beautiful works at uh, thalglass.com. So that's T-H-A-L, glass.com. Yep. Well, great. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Rose. If there's any questions for anyone by the audience, otherwise we just watch some blowing glass by Lori and it was really interesting. All right. Thank yeah. you so much for your hearts. We appreciate it. And if you're not sure how to give a heart, <laughs> it looks like you do. All you have to do is tap the screen. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Fun demo. <laughs>